What's going on YouTube? How's it going? Welcome back to another video. So the last couple of videos we've done in this series have been really going well. Uh, you guys seem to like it a lot, so I'm going to make a third one and potentially a fourth. I haven't decided yet, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys really like it. I'm going to continue trying to show you some of the best boost crossings and positions you can play in World of Tanks and stuff that you don't really have to practice a lot to learn. So uh, you know, I hope you guys like the video. Remember to like and subscribe. Peace. So the first boost we're going to be talking about is the Cliff South boost. Now this is a boost that can be done in a lot of fast tanks and what's very important is speed. You need to make sure you get your speed so you can climb this kind of rock face here, get to the corner and turn. You have to stop at the top and then back up. It's uh, relatively difficult, probably the most difficult boost I'm going to end up showing you guys. But with a bit of practice you can figure it out. Uh, the CS-63, the Batchat, the RHM Panzer, the EBR are all tanks that can do it. Probably a couple others as well. Now afterwards you want to line up on this rock, find your angle, and then you want to kind of go in between this bush here. That allows you to get up into the ramp, and you are up. Now if you think about the benefits of this boost, you can basically climb the hill without having to go over the middle. They might not even know you're up, and uh, that's super useful both in pubs and in competitive. Uh, it just takes a bit of practice. Having turbo on your bat chat will help a lot. Um, if you want to do it the secondary way, basically once you've after after you've done the first bit, you can cross over and do this part, which I think is a little bit easier, but it's also slower. So you kind of back up into this corner, and you want to get your momentum, very key to have momentum. Get your right track on this rock so you can get traction. Get your angle here, now you need speed right away, drive, 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 get to the top, and then turn. And you're up. Again, not super difficult, at least the second part. The first part is the part that most people get stuck on, so with a little bit of practice, watch the video back, I'm sure you got it. These drops are a huge quality of life improvement for playing the perch on airfield. Now, let's say you're getting pushed off the perch, you've got to run away, how are you going to do it? Well, my favorite way to do it is dropping off of this ramp here. It's pretty safe, you can do it fast, do it slow, any tank, and uh, yeah, it's just awesome because you can get off really quickly. If you do these drops wrong or in different places, you can take damage, so it's important to know the different spots that you can get off safely. Uh, the other places, if you want to get into the middle quickly, you can drop off here. There's another ramp you can play, and uh, it's nice to just play up into the middle really quickly. The third one here is just close to the left. Let's say if you actually want to push up the ramp to the left, you can just drop right into this corner here. It's really nice for just flanking uh, tanks who aren't expecting in the middle. Now, from the opposite perch, this one's kind of cool. You can drive up to the right here, and you can actually get into the middle, kind of similarly to how you can do it from the other side. A lot of people don't know about this or even do it. So this is definitely one of my favorite ones to do to surprise a heavy tank in the middle. And this is one if you need to get off the hill really fast. So they're pushing you. It's like, I got to go. Let's get out of here. Just bump into this right corner here, and you're down. Super safe, super easy, and it's going to save you on this map for sure. The famous Al Haluf boost. Now this is super useful. It can basically only be done in an EBR. Now you have to try to stay as straight as possible through these bumps. Try not to lose your speed. And then you get to this corner and you want to go to the right. And then turn left, changing modes. And then changing modes again to get that traction, that power back. Allowing you to climb the hill. Totally unexpected. And flank the enemy. Super strong. Most players actually don't know about this. So a huge advantage when you can make it work. Uh, the other way to do it is if you fail that first run, you just come to that ramp, drive straight here. Again, try to keep your momentum best as you can. Turn to the right, and then turn left. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Really hope you guys liked the video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.